The William Allen Awardee, Dr. Stylianos Antonarakis, is here with me now. First of all, congratulations. Thank you very, very much. This is a prestigious award. I want to talk about your storied career and really the focus of it. Well, the focus of my career were always the genetic disorders. And among all the genetic disorders, I work mostly on disorders that are due to a, a problem in one gene that we call monogenic disorders. Since I was born and raised in Greece and went to medical school in Greece, I started with a disorder that's called beta thalassemia, which is a hereditary anemia that's quite common in the Mediterranean region. So I worked on uh, the gene that causes the beta thalassemia and that brought me to this fantastic world of genetics. So you realize the, um, the sea of the unknown that we have in genetics. And um, over the years, the 40 years of my career so far, I focused on additional genes that cause disorders like hemophilia, um, like hereditary deafness, hereditary blindness, um, intellectual disability, and other disorders. And also I worked a little bit on uh, a, a common syndrome that's called the trisomy 21 Down syndrome. The Down syndrome is not a disease of one gene, but uh, it is a disorder of a whole chromosome the smallest chromosome that we have, chromosome 21. And uh, so I worked on the genes on chromosome 21, the sequencing of 21. I follow the history of and the developments of genetics over the years. Yes. What a scope of your career that began with this curiosity from your own personal experience when you were so young. How have things changed in the study of genetics and genomics through the years? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> when I finished medical school, um, not a single gene was cloned. We did not know the genome. Uh, we know very little. We could describe disorders the way we see them, so-called the phenotype, but we did not know uh, the cause of any one of those. Now, 40 years later, we have, uh, we have read the genome, our genome, not only once, but millions of times. And uh, we know um, the cause of 4,400 uh, disorders that are caused by a deficiency or a problem in one gene. And the other tremendous change was that genetics became um, very important in medicine. It became a, medic a medical discipline, genetic medicine, changed the way we think about disorders, about we categorize disorders, about we see the um, mechanism of disorders, and from now on we can bring treatments because when we know the cause of a disease, we can think of a treatment. And uh, you know, I think for every, it's my impression that for every 10 to 15 new genes that we understand and we discover, for one of, for one of them we can do something immediately. And genetic medicine has become uh, an important discipline to understand medicine because medis all the disorders are due to either the genetic variation or the environmental variation. Either the environment causes a disease or the variation in our genome causes a disorder or the interaction between the two. So we became, um, I'm proud to say, one of the two main branches of medicine and your work has contributed a lot to people's lives. I see why you are the William Allen Awardee. Congratulations and thank you. I thank you very, very much for your interest.